making a map icon in Figma. Let's go. The first thing we're going to do, let me delete that and delete that icon. We're going to start here with a common icon grid. I'm going to hit that O key and draw out a circle. So let's make it about that big. Let's align it to that top line right there. Next, I'm going to double click click on this point and I'm going to hold down the command key, control key on windows. Just click on that point. That's going to release those Bezier curves. I'm going to click on that and you can see that those handles will both release, turn into a hard angle and then go back. We want it as a point. We are then going to take this selected point and move it all the way down here to that second guideline that we have. Now that's looking pretty good. Let's say that I want to adjust these handles as well. If I want to make it a little more curvy, I can select that point. I'm going to press the shift key click that point and click its handle. Now I'm going to deselect that first one. And you can see that I can now control the placement of both of these Bezier handles. This is looking good. Let's say I want to move that up. Let's take the ones down here. Once again, I'm going to hold that click shift to deselect. So I only have those handles right there. You see, as I move them now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to move them down. That's going to make this a little bit more rounded and give me a very specific place to put those Bezier handles. That's looking good. Next, I'm going to take one more circle. I'm going to draw it out. I'm going to place it there in the center. I am holding both the shift and the option key or shift and alt if you're on Windows. And I'm going to expand that out. Now I can select both of these shapes. I'm going to press the shift key to select them both. I'm going to come up here and I'm going to choose this Boolean option, subtract selection. So let's take a look at that right up here. I'm going to select those two points, come up here and choose subtract selection. Now what that is going to do is remove that circle from the center. I can select this in its entirety and come over here and choose a fill color. And now we can see we have that map icon. Next, let's take it and make it into an outline. I'm going to select this shape that I just created and I'm going to press shift X and that's going to swap the fill and the stroke. Now, if I want to change the size of this dot in the center, I'm going to command click on it, control click if you're on windows and just scale that down. So right now, when I select this object, you'll note that the stroke is on the inside and I have a one pixel stroke. This is a 24 pixel by 24 pixel icon. I can select that, choose that red and make that black. So I now have both the outline and the red versions. That is all for today. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments and as always, happy designing.